Alright, right, so we're here with uh, Vex against Shieldbreak Half X. We've got uh, Bayonetta against Luigi. Um, now no. you know Half X, don't you? You know him quite well. I do very well. Um, I've not seen, I'm not seen this match very much. I know that a Bayonetta. If they can perform the combos really well, yeah, Bayonet has a lot. Then of they can just win it. Bayonet has a lot of Bayonet, Bayonet shenanigans going on. Going on. Yeah. The best picture. Oh my god. god. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm against. Alright. Alright. So we are still. Alright. Well, well, I think the point is it depends on the style that they play. Vex is doing pretty well and Zero We want to get on stream. Do you want to get on stream? I don't mind. We want to get on the winners games like to come on stream. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind on stream though. Yeah. The thing about Bayonetta is that if they're kind of like a witch time spammy Bayonetta then characters that have like Luigi who have just insane grabs just will punish it. Okay so you see, do you know Pink Fresh? Yeah. yeah, he's the Lucas player, the Bayonet player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, he... When something he can't I, get the long combo, he does some, witch time. Something I notice he does is he won't spam witch time. He very rarely does it. Oh, yeah. He, he kind the, of... the best Bayonet is they condition your opponent into thinking that they're safe. So they don't actually use witch time that much, and then when they least expect it, and then you've taken a stock. Yeah, he tends to do it at the... At the once he takes the first stop, he tends to do it at the start of the second yeah, stop, yeah, yeah. like to, to rack up combos. They can't get the long combo one, they all do witch time panic. Because, yeah, yeah. The, well, the thing is, like, he... he you know, if he, if he just took a stock, then usually they end up in some sort of rage, like, to some extent. So he'll try and use witch time to uh, basically get that combo, like, from a really low percent. Because it is possible. So, starting off with Bayonet doing the classic side B. I actually think that for a lot of players, that they, they, they'll always shield the first hit and then they just forget about the second hit and then they just get combo to oblivion. So, so yeah. you've got to really yeah. learn the timing for it. But the, thing, the reason why Bayonet is like so seen as so cancerous is because the, all of the moves are like super safe. You see Vex is here is doing the kind of downward side B. Like, either two things happen. Either he gets the hit and he does the combo like this, or he hits shield and he bounces away and he can just like legit go to safety. So he gets like this kind of... Uh, Low risk, high reward. So all you literally need to do is well, keep doing that, and you'll be safe it's, unless it's, you land. This is why I'm in favour of the bayonet well, band because she has like she can just <laughs> zero. Really she, she I has, mean, she, like, she's not good. We're, we're English, not Spanish. Oh, she's um, not good for the meta game, but she, she's not ban worthy. Oh. oh. I was going. The thing is about uh, Bayonetta is that she doesn't have the best frame data and therefore doesn't have the best neutral, but it doesn't really matter when you can, when you can kill from 0% it doesn't really matter much. She, she can, I think that's like frame 4 or 5, Yeah, she can up be out of shield. She has a side B, she has witch time if she feels like she's getting pressure. Yeah, her best tilt is a down tilt which I think is frame 7. So the thing, forward the thing, the thing that um, yeah. Alex is doing really well is that Bayonetta of most of the top tiers doesn't have like the best neutral other than like yeah. side B and like neutral air, and he's just kind of playing a good defensive game, like waiting for him yeah, to Yeah, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, yeah, exactly. You want to keep Bayonetta out. Uh, you don't want to rush in because that. Oh, that's it. Uh, pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. Because um, you get witch time if you just run in. Because you know you play. This is what I mean. You see, he does the forward smash and then he immediately witch time. But against Luigi, it's just suicide because he can get more from grab than he can. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You kind of want to, but that's the thing. If you form up an option because like her, his uh, her no, fastest uh, move is like a B, it's quite hard to like you know recover from a whiff move. He, uh, you, that's one of the main weaknesses. Of you're also oh, seeing uh, half X literally run up to him, bait the witch time, and then just grab it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like half X normally plays quite aggressively, and he has since the second stock has started. But I mean, he's just starting to learn his combo. But I think. Um, yeah. But I, I feel like he, normally he plays pretty aggressive. So. The one thing I'm, I'm surprised is that Luigi's recovery is quite broad in the end, rather than linear. It's partly, it's probably it's quite um, routine, so I'm hoping that maybe yeah. the Bayonetta, oh, that's nice. And you can um, do a short hop on the edge, down it, and then that can get the kill. Well, the thing is with Bayonetta is that you can edge guard, but if you if you hit one side B, then that could be a zero to death combo. Like, that's the thing with Bayonetta, it's just, it, it, can, it can change at any point. So that's why people are in the favour of the band, but I don't know. I I, I personally I'm I'm not. Oh, that's pretty nice. The shield break player normally had his she could have had his shield broken there. <laughs> ah, bad puns. Now there is a theme. I swear, most shield break players who travel, we always get our shields broken. It's quite yeah, funny. No, yeah, yeah, like, you, like, you, you did. You did against Mr. Nine last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I do remember the yeah, that was pretty cool.
Oh, See, there we go. And that's the thing. Even if yeah, you look, even if you look, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, oh. Him, man. He, he didn't he, have a stoop. He also he didn't, he didn't he get the sweet yeah. spot either. He was trying to get the down smash off the edge. Yeah. yeah. Louis Jolie needs oh. a smash. <laughs> We're speaking through. I'm surprised <laughs> that Dex isn't doing uh, down tilt very much, which is like Bayo, one of Bayo's like, best combo starters. Because yeah. he can just kind of wait around. He's basically just doing side B in the air. That's really nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh. He needs, he needs stuff, to stuff. No. I feel like he's at too high of Nice. And that's Bayonetta in a nutshell, people. Yep. So, and uh, completely off. balanced and, and fair. No. By and the quest strips in the back. Balanced and fair. Oh, buddy, which time? Oh. Dex taking uh, game sure. one against Top X. A quest strip saying th the players that in the game. A quest well, 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 saying well, well, panic well, which time. As a Bayonetta player, you may have to deal with a lot of quest uh, I mean, I'm not. No, what I mean is, I'm not a Bayonetta player, but like some people do get. Most Bayonetta players get criticised. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, if it's Ill, if anything's legally allowed in the rule set, then you shouldn't criticise people for doing it. Yeah. I mean, people can criticise the rule set, but not the players. Like I know, I've read stories about like people getting like bullied for using Bayonetta, and that's not cool. You can you can say the character's like toxic, but you can't just like hate on people. Yeah, definitely. The thing is, she does take skill to use. That's the thing. No, that she, she doesn't. I think she does. <laughs> I think she does. You don't just kill someone at zero like that. I don't know. You have to it takes some you, you, you have to like DI read and all that. That's the thing, you can you can get it to a stage where you can't actually DI the combo, so you can read the DI pretty well. Anyway, what, what do you think about his counter pick? Uh, uh, so like, I think personally that Lilac's not a particularly great stage for Luigi, but I know from playing um, Halfex a lot that he, he likes this stage, because, this stage because a lot of the time, unless you're playing like a Pikachu, people's like natural counter pick isn't Lilac, so you can kind of yeah, get exactly. the stage knowledge. And you can yeah, I, I, was, I was literally just saying before on, on the last stream, um, I I was against a Moth player, and I was like I I really didn't like I, I didn't expect him to go to Lila. Yeah, so I, think I, I, have, I have played seen a Moth before the kind of like that. So I was. We're just doing some two seeding stuff. Rocket. Two out of two out of Yeah. I was coming. That's pretty even so far. He's still standing. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, did the eye problem? Hey, I know. And half X. Which time, which time Doing that. Oh, so which is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonet still does really well on uh, um, Lila. Lila's a weird yeah, stage. Yeah, I, I actually, I've spoken to one of the best players, uh, one of the best, sorry, the best wish, uh, the best player in, uh, in uh, Shield Break is Guy called Blitz. And he's, oh, yeah, yeah. he's starting to come around to Lila. He didn't like it to begin with, but the fact is that because there we go. Well, can charge him, man. Charge the other smash. We love the down beat. Fair enough. Um, we hate the but like, he's starting to like it because, because yeah. she's so good in the air that it's like not even an issue for recovery unless you like, completely screw up. Can we all agree that Vayner is the best in the game? Oh, yeah. I, I absolutely yeah, think so. Definitely. Especially since uh, she can ZSS got nerfed. I think it goes um, Bayonetta, then Rosa. And then really? Wow. Okay. I actually... Um, I, that's really good. I mean, it could be because I'm a Rosa main and I know the flaws of Rosa, but I actually... I, I put ZSS second still. Um, no, her, her buffs yeah, were even... Nice. No, her nerfs were even worse than Cheeks were. No, who, I, I disagree with ZSS. Is, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of biased. But if you, the thing about um, ZSS, because you know SB Sam, he's, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's kind of dropped ZSS for Robin because I don't think he's had as much fun with the character. But like a lot of the things she got nerfed were like lots of little things like Mayor and uh, Ruby Combo and stuff. Yeah. Whereas she just like lost down for Yeah. She, no, me, yeah, she can't. We entered doubles at Newcastle with both she players and our team members ripped team down for her. Ripped down for her. <laughs> Like the thing is, you see people like uh, Mr. R and Blue, they still do. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, taking it 2 0. 2 0? Wait, I'm just saying. That was the down beast. The spam! The spamming of the witch town! That's why Spain hates her. Wait, hold on. How did he manage to do that?